we require voters to have a, a photo ID and so they're identified when they come in. So, or even by absentee, you have to have a photo ID when you request an absentee ballot. On election day, you go into your polling place, you're given a ballot, uh, you fill it out, you stick it in the machine and the machine tabulates, you know, what you recorded on your ballot. Um, for an absentee ballot, they're opened, uh, who, who it is is announced, they're entered into the poll book, uh, and then that ballot is fed in by a poll worker. You know, on a normal year, we would get one out of 10 ballots would be a mailed in ballot, maybe from military overseas or somebody, at, you know, we're a university town here, so someone at another university, whatever it may be. Uh, this year, it's eight out of 10. And that is a, that's the biggest difference. And there are so many levels of security that go into every part of this election. So there is a kind of a radical level of transparency at every level. You can, people can watch any of the steps. We've had several recounts in the last few years and they basically have stopped because after a couple of them everyone realizes this is really accurate <laughs> canvas occurs after polls are closed a couple days later we go over all the results to make sure there wasn't a mistake you can't just walk in and get a ballot you have to be registered or in wisconsin you can then register when you're there but you have to prove where you live. Yeah. We want to make sure that if there's 1,200 uh, people that came into a polling place, there's 1,200 ballots. Uh, there can't be more than that.